when you have a hiring freeze, but it applies to NASA, it's a brain freeze. Nice! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Is that good? Is that good? Yes, yes. exactly. At some point, we will have to deorbit the space station. Right now, it's funded through about 24 by about 28. This, for example, the 2024. Solar, 2024. 2024. So by about 2028, a lot of the systems will be degrading, especially the solar panels, which right. are getting pinged by this micro debris all the time. So when we deorbit that, does uh, the who puts a new one up there? And when do we do that? You know, that's a great question. And so there's this big, what is going to happen to low Earth orbit right. after the space station? Is it going, you know, you know, if you talk to NASA, they would like it to be the commercial, the private sector that moves in private space stations, a place for, you know, private company, space companies, Blue Origin, SpaceX, Orbital ATK. Let's find the private sector going, yeah. going to low Earth orbit. As imagined in the film 2001. Exactly. All, there was Howard Johnson's up there, Pan Am ran the shuttle. Right. Pan Am, for those of the younger of our audience, right. a former uh, airline company. It's the, uh, it's the Virgin America before America was a virgin. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> but, <laughs> Basically you know, what it was. Yeah. Yeah. If, you really, if you really get underneath that, NASA spends about $3 billion a year on the International Space Station. And if we want to send humans to Mars, we want to take that $3 billion and start start building what will be the Mars transfer vehicle, what humans will go in on that journey to Mars. If, if they have to keep spending it on the space station, there's not going to be no money to go, to go beyond low Earth orbit.